Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you're new to this channel, welcome! I, I am Laran and today, today we're gonna talk about something that I find, uh, I think most people is interesting to know a little bit more about and that is how to find and learn how to see who is hacking and who is not hacking. Basically, yeah, cheaters. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I uh, lost topic, but take a look at this. You can actually climb up here on the wall. <laughs> you don't have to run around to get up on the roof to reach chests that spawns up here. Yeah, that was a little bit of a side topic, but back to the subject. Hacking. So, the intention of this video is to show some players that are using possible hacks. I'm not saying that they are using hacks, but just a possibility. So, <laughs> what I will do is to... I will blur the names since the purpose is not to expose any accounts. Uh, it's just to make players, normal players like you and I, to make them... Uh, to make us more aware what to look for if you find something that you might find a little bit sus and uh, well what can i say i'm not a judge uh, to determine if a player is using unfair methods but uh, what i can do and what you also can do is to report findings uh, at over at the uh, cloud entertainment's uh, discord server and uh, yeah let them decide who is uh, playing unfair and who is actually clean <laughs> right? <laughs> so let's get started. And uh, basically I have like two categories when it comes to cheating. And uh, those are the ones that cheats in multiplayer experiences and those that are cheating in single player experiences. And I, I think they are a little bit different. So in multiplayer when you have a lot of other players that you can interact and also affect. I have close to zero tolerance actually when it comes to hacking and if it is a game that I do play a lot I always report those whenever possible and uh, yeah even if you're a good old friend of mine and I discover you being a hacker or a cheater yeah sorry then you're out. <laughs> That's the easiest way to just say what I think about it. But if I play a game that I don't really play a lot, I'm just trying a game, like evaluating something that I might find interesting or just playing a random game and I see someone that is hacking, I don't really bother that much about it. I only care if it will affect my own game experience in that case. Otherwise, I would just expect that more dedicated players to that specific game would, uh, yeah, they would take care of the issue. Just like we do here in Fishing Simulator, right? And then the single player cheats and hacks. Well, this is not a single player game, so it doesn't really apply here, but uh, I don't really care what you do in a single player game. You do whatever. Uh, I would like to put them in five different categories. Uh, first of all, we have the ones that are scared. So as soon as you discover something that is suspicious, you ask them directly in chat and the very same moment they see what you ask about, then they leave. <laughs> those are the ones that, whoa, those are the ones that are scared. So <laughs> th those, uh, yeah, I usually never see again. <laughs> they just disappear. Uh, and then we have those that are the totally opposite. They become aggressive. They start to ask, how do I know so much about the hacks? Uh, try to turn and flip the table and start to ask things like, yeah, if you know so much about the hacks, you might be the hacker. And uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, what to say? That's just a different kind of behavior. And, and sometimes they also start to th threat you to, yeah, they're gonna hack your account, they're gonna hack the game, they're gonna give bad rumors and so on. So <laughs> those are the ones that are a little bit more aggressive. And then we have the category that uh, we have, yeah, we have those that are AFK. They just leave the hack and do the job on its own. So it doesn't really matter if you try to contact them because they are not at the computer. <laughs> they just leave it running overnight or something. And and uh, yeah, I don't really think they care much, uh, so that's a different category. So 
those that doesn't really care, those are the ones that if they get banned, they just move on to a different game. They maybe don't have that much friends on, in the game, so they don't really care if they are excluded or not. And then we have those that are really trying to break into the leaderboards and uh, getting as good stats as possible, affecting those that are really pushing hard into the game. And uh, that is very, I think, is very disrespectful because... Uh, those that really, really dedicate so much time to a game. To put themselves on a leaderboard, they deserve to be there. And seeing someone just trying to force their way in using illegal methods, that is just, uh, yeah, it's, uh, what, what can I say? It's a horrible thing to do and uh, you get really no respect from doing that. But regardless from all that start talk, let's go into some examples, shall we? We're gonna start off actually with a new function that they had. Well, it's not really a function that is supposed to be used when it comes to <laughs> tracking down hackers, but it can be used in such a way. Since they added this mini-map that is interactive, you can actually track players very easy. And we're gonna take a short look at a clip that I was recording earlier uh, where you have a player and uh, yeah that player is just jumping around all over the map because he's teleport hunting and it's very easy to see that because yeah the <laughs> the marker on the map it moves so fast that he can't possibly move there by boat and uh, that's a good really really good way of telling if someone is uh, yeah I would say a little bit sus <laughs> <laughs> right? Because, uh, yeah, it's impossible to do something like this. But also, knowing that uh, this map can be used in such a way, it's also very, very important to know that, uh, yeah, sometimes uh, you need to see the whole picture or something. Because, uh, first off, when you join a server, you will always start up in the top left corner of the map before it has loaded the game entirely and you can see those persons joining and then they disappear that's because they are teleported into port jackson so if you see a name up in the top left corner like we saw right there uh, <laughs> it didn't mean that that person was cheating it was just joining the game so he moved from the corner down to Port Jackson. And also another very important thing to know about here is that uh, if you take a look at this example that I just made. In this scenario I start over at Eruption Island out in the ocean. And then you can see that my cursor or my marker I should say moves rapidly out in the ocean. And then you see it jumps back to Port Jackson and then we go out in the ocean again at the same location. This didn't mean that I was cheating because uh, in this scenario I was basically out on a different boat, not my own boat. I was using my orb to my own boat. From there I did a reset and after the reset I jumped back to the boat. So therefore, uh, this map marker was jumping around on the map and it was totally, totally legit. And uh, it's a big difference when you do this teleport jumping because then you will jump around at multiple different locations. But it's important to know that if you're going to record something, it doesn't mean that you record just one jump and that's final. You need to record something more than that, just a single or like two or three jumps because you need to get an entire sequence. And another thing that is also important to know when you check this map. If you jump from an island over to another island using the hot air balloon, since this map has a sample rate Meaning that it refreshes, I don't really know how often, but it's maybe like four times per second or something. But if it samples just at the right moment when you are traveling in the hot air balloon between two islands, your position will be shown out in the open ocean and then it will go to its destination. 
But it didn't mean that that person was cheating either. It was just transporting himself between two locations. And uh, this can also happen if you enter buildings. Because the buildings, the inside of the buildings is uh, actually, it's outside the main map. So it's out in the far, in a far distance basically. And when you enter a building, that player gets teleported to that location. And you can end up on the map. <laughs> when you are traveling to that location, if you are unlucky, and especially if someone is recording it. <laughs> but it didn't mean that you were cheating, you were just playing the game normally. And uh, there is a number of things that you uh, can be a little bit uh, suspicious against uh, when you see a player. First of all, if you see a player that is fairly high level and has this starter spear, the one that you get from the very first beginning, the spear that you cannot buy. But uh, after you have bought your first spear, you cannot re-equip that spear. It's basically the starter spear. Those are the ones that I would pay a little bit extra attention to. And also, uh, speaking of spears and what kinds of spears they are using. I have seen players with low level spears that one shots sharks and orcas. It's not possible, so... That's obviously something, uh, some kind of trickery. Uh, and uh, yeah, those are the ones that you can also try to report if you get a good recording of them. If you play the game, you want to play the game, not stare at the map all the time. It's good to know to what to listen for and look for. So basically uh, what I do, I listen at sounds. So if can I use this boat, maybe? There we go. <laughs> so... I listen to sounds and if I hear like a lot of sounds of sharks and orcas being killed in a rapid pace then I really suspect that someone is cheating and that will also yeah it gets my attention to try to record them so I can report them but the sound and also the visual if you see this uh, animated effect when you kill a shark or an orca if you see those multiple times and you don't see a boat nearby, that's very suspicious and uh, definitely worth checking out. And here we have Mubi. And uh, yeah, by the way, speaking of Mubi, sometimes you can see Mubi gets killed very, very fast. You, you basically see the health bar just drops like a stone. And that's because someone is using an overpowered spear. And they teleport inside Mubi Wood and basically kills Mubi Wood within uh, maybe like 5 or 10 seconds. Uh, it goes crazy fast. So yeah, that's uh, something also worth to... <laughs> Uh, know about and uh, usually directly afterwards they just teleport away from Ubiwood once they get the loot That's the kind of normal behavior and those that are not uh, careful at all Yeah, they can also use like speed hacks They travel with boat in incredible speeds uh, That's also uh, it's super easy to see because yeah <laughs> It kind of reveals uh, very fast that they are not playing fair. And uh, I've also seen players being able to run through objects. And uh, you're going to see some examples of that, how that looks like. And uh, yeah, that is also uh, something that is related to hacking. So basically, what can you do if you manage to record someone? I usually cut it down to a fairly short sequence of uh, maximum like 30 seconds or something just showing what has happened and I upload it on streamable.com it's a free service and uh, it has some limitations if you don't pay but it's enough to be able to report players so that's what I use and from there you go to cloud entertainments discord and I can show you what that looks like and from here you type in the account name not the display name you can mention the display name of course but that's not the important part the account name is what matters so if i go and check myself for instance you can see uh, i have the display name on top but the account name is uh, right below so that's the one that is critical 
because that's the thing that you're gonna be uh, putting a ban on and once you have this uh, account name it's also very important that you don't have a situation where uh, uh, you can accidentally mix the capital I and the lowercase l for instance because they look the same in Roblox because I have had situations where people was trying to fool you into believing it was someone else so be careful with that so what I do is uh, it's not mentioned and I don't think it's required and it's not necessary but I usually post also a link to that player the player profile uh, but uh, it's not something that they require but I prefer it so just just to be sure that we get the right person because uh, anything else would be as terrible but uh, you you will know for sure that you find the right person when you check the avatar compare it to what is actually in the game something also when it comes to reporting at discord this information that I mentioned right now as soon as I will post it it will already be old because yeah my video is what it is when I record it and it can change at any time so to stay up to date you just need to read what their current rules say so if something has changed that is what applies not my video okay <laughs> just follow what they say don't follow me right <laughs> okay so that's a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, question is if this if it was something more that I can mention. Yeah, there is actually something more that I can mention. Uh, if someone is hunting super fast, and I mean super fast, it will be like lightning all over the ocean here. Uh, it means that they will kill every single shark and orca in the entire game. And when that happens, the compass stops working yes so that is also a warning sign when you are out hunting or just fishing and you check the compass for whatever reason if you don't get an arrow when you open it it means that there are no sharks and orcas in the ocean so everything is dead and if you have it open and they have killed everything the arrow will stick to the ground as you can see in this short sequence over here uh, and that means that uh, yeah someone is cheating and hacking in the game something else also why when I, it's so it's so it's so many things that i can mention but when a player teleports all over the place sometimes it's not that accurate so they can end up like halfway underground that's not a a possible location so that is also something that's a little bit suspect and if they end up underneath something or inside a wall or something if they have a pet that can also be something that can reveal that something has happened because they can get stuck and uh, yes yeah, stuck at strange locations but uh, sometimes it's just natural uh, i know if you go down here the pet will get stuck as you can see it stays over there so that's okay and that's no problem that's just how it is but uh, there are some other locations uh, where yeah it can look weird sometimes they fall through <laughs> the caster here when they're supposed to uh, i think they try to auto sell or something uh, and then you have the pet remaining here and it, they try to go underneath the ground but uh, yeah that is also something that you can observe so there oh there is a mythic ship shall we take it no we shall not but that is also something that i <laughs> just came up with when you see something like that like a mythic ship hackers they love to teleport to those chests because they get a lot of gems sometimes and they get a lot of coins so keep a track on the two shipwrecks because i don't really know which one was a mythic shipwreck but that can reveal someone that is uh, well using uh, <laughs> unfair methods basically uh, so if someone just all of a sudden appear oh take a look at that i have a chest here now all of a sudden it's gonna run over here it's mine <laughs> thank you very much 25 gems to me <laughs> oh, yeah 
so many different things to, that you can observe. You don't need to stare on this map all the time just to uh, see if someone is cheating. If you put the, all the pieces together, you will be uh, incredibly aware when someone is on the server and using illegal methods. But yes, regardless, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. I think you do, because this, because this is an interesting topic. And we also have this phishing uh, hack. I haven't really had any good video evidence when they auto-fish. But uh, that might be a different video in the future, if I get something like that. Oh, I got the chroma. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you very much. Let's see, what was it? It was a normal... Ah, nice. Mythic glow. On the first attempt. <laughs> I like that. Alright. Uh, yeah, so where was I? Yeah, I was about to end the video. <laughs> that was all I had for you today. I think I already mentioned that. Like this video if you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator. Please subscribe and uh, yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.